In this discussion, you can see how to use REC underscore name model level attribute in detail. Also, how to change the display name of the many to one field using this attribute. We will see all the real test case and in case you missed previous discussion related supported models attribute in Odoo, you can see the link is given in description. Okay, so first let me go to here in student profile. In student profile, we have one many to one field which is the school, the school model and you can see here by default the name field is display in this many to one field. Let me open the form view and you can see this is many to one field and it's showing a name name field in other models. Other model means like whenever we are using the school model as a many to one field. So let me open this school profile. You can see here this school name by default it display as a many to in many to one relational model. It is also possible instead of this name, we can also use other fields such as email, phone number or any of these fields. We can see how to change this field in rest of the model. Like in student profile, we can also change the school model display name using REC underscore name. So this is the purpose of this model attribute here and let me open this school profile. So by default name field is visible. One more question rise in your mind is for example this model don't have the name field then what happened? Then Odoo will display the object name like object means like this. It will display like school profile then after comma and whatever the ID of the school profile like this it will display in front end side but uh, in here in this case by default Odoo supports REC underscore name is only name name field if the name is not found then in front end side it will display like this the model name comma and that models record ID like this so we don't need to worry about the display name but here you can also change the other model name such as email let's say email and now we have to just restart the service no need to upgrade any module here and in front end side we just need to only refresh the patch you can see here before the page in school name we have like school 1 and school 2 like this. Refresh the page and here you can see the instead of the name here it will display email address. One more thing is like if that field is empty then by default it will display as a false. So here let me add email address school1 email.com let me copy so you can see if I'm going to in student profile you can see the email address is display also inform you the same one so false means that field don't have a value so let me again going to here and let me fill like school2 at the right email.com also let me add the phone number and if I'm going to here you can see the email address will display here and once I will go to in list view you can see the email address is display. So same as you can also change change the request you can also change the phone number two and uh, you can just refresh the page here
now instead of the email address you can see the phone number is display like this way one more thing is like I want to use multiple fields here like name or email like this is it possible let let's try here like underscore rec underscore name and directly like Odoo throws the exception because in rec underscore name this attribute only supports only one field name so here we have to right now we are changing to the name field right now and let me restart the service let me refresh the page also and instead of the phone number you can see here it's it will display here the school name oh sorry the name field of the school profile now for example if you want to use multiple field name in in the in this many to one field then we have to use this method which is called name underscore get method so here if you don't know name underscore get method what is the purpose of this method uh, link is given in description and you can see the real test case and one more thing is like uh, whatever you you are passing here it will override using this method so first priority is this one if name underscore get method is found as a custom method then it will use this one otherwise it will display this one so top priority is name underscore get and then this one the user defined rec underscore name if both are not display then by default the name field will display in case in model level the name field is also not uh, there is no any field related name field then it will display in many to one field as a this one like object name comma and the record id the specific record id so let me restart the service here and uh, let me refresh the page so it will display here the name plus the school type but you can see here it's display only the name field but we here one more thing is miss the main thing is missing school type let me add as a public and let me go to here again school type 2 this profile i will i'm selecting this private school and let me go to here in list view and you can see you can having a like multiple field name using name underscore get method i hope you having a basic knowledge about this underscore rsc underscore name attribute in model level in case you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next session